Oh dear God, what did you make me play? It's it's multicultural and educational. I don't feel that. It's either of these things. You're not here to be entertained by cute characters or moeyness across the name. You are here to learn. What is moeyness? Is it next to godliness? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can go with that. Yeah, definitely. Jason, give me the quick rundown of what is going on in the world of Rest of Tear. Uh... Well, you have your fairy IRS godmother who's going to break your knees if you don't give her about 10 grand by Monday. You know, your standard love story. These character profiles are very misleading. Like, I am, looking at this, I am trained to believe that Tyr is about, I want to say, 7 eighths as tall as Rest Tyr? No, Rest Reset. But in reality, I think she's only half. I like to think that this is real somewhere. Is this what Japan is like? <laughs> this guy, never closing his goddamn mouth. I wonder how many flies they've all swallowed. <laughs> I feel like you could probably no. fit Tear or the fairy into that guy's mouth though. No, like, you know that one little tidbit of knowledge you're like, did you know you like, you like, eat three spiders when you sleep. I wonder how many spiders these guys eat while they're awake. Spiders? Are you sure you're not talking about, like, lost infants? Gotta get our Hiroshima Windbreaker. <laughs> the fallout is gonna be extreme if we don't. Wooden I'm chest plate. right now. That sounds painful. It yeah. does. Let's get one. Don't Wait, worry. why is a hat as, like, as much as a rusty dagger? Because economics. <laughs> We're gonna leave. Let's leave very... Awkwardly, as this man continues to stare out into nothingness with his mouth again. I think he only has his mouth open when we're around. <laughs> it's closed all day. The second we enter the shop, just opens his jaw, the second puts his he, hands on his hips. Yeah, the second he enters our shop, too. It's like, I will devour your souls. Walnut bread. Thanks a bunch. We don't need your handouts. Handouts. Wait, okay, wait. okay. So, we, I don't understand this. In this fantasy universe, Adam Smith still wrote his theory on economics and became an influential force? Adam Smith is always an influential force in economics, so, no matter where you are. So they're, you're going to be watching Game of Thrones, and you're going to be like, Adam Smith taught me this, man. So basically, the one constant in all the multiverses is Adam Smith? Yeah. Is Adam West also a constant? Maybe. Wait, so, okay, this is where everything is on the map, right? Yeah. So, like, do we have the most prime location of, like, Rusted here being on top of these steps right here? It looks as if we are the lords of this area. Yeah, like, like no Staring joke, down we upon are looking... all the peasants. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like, are we just, like... <sighs> like, every day they grovel before they ascend these steps to buy <laughs> our golden wares. <laughs> Don't care, don't care, don't care. I never needed reading before in my life, I don't need it now. Okay, no, see, we're not- this is a test, okay? We're given the population a test to see who was reincarnated in from the last god. <laughs> You'll be like, the last god chose the walnut bread. They'll come in, they'll be like, yes, I'll take this windbreaker. you <laughs> be like, sorry, you were spiritu spiritually... Inept. Yeah. Because so, Brian, speaking of the reincarnation of the last god, which was his last item that he had? I told you, walnut bread. <laughs> he choked on it and then ascended into the heavens. It was actually the wooden chest piece, but don't tell anyone that. Alright, I am just going to assume that this is the Ultima Sword, and therefore <laughs> it can go for about 833.433% of no, the base no, price. No, it needs to go more. More? Yeah. How much more? Very much more. Alright, stop. I think that's enough. No, higher. So I'm thinking that the grand total of 2,459,012 ought to do it. Are I mean, at 20,491.766% of the base price, <laughs> it's really a steal. You'd be crazy not to buy it. You're losing money if you yeah, don't yes. buy this sort yeah, of that's price. That's very good. She told us that. It was exactly. A good price. Who is this? Why is she loitering? <laughs> yes, welcome to the rest of tier, where your tears sustain us. This was good shop. <laughs> Alright. 
A sucker's born every minute. What is up with this background? Is this plot? I mean, there's already more of a story here than Destiny. Just like Kingdom Hearts, where the title doesn't even show up until like two hours in the game. <laughs> we should play Kingdom Hearts. No, we shouldn't. I'm gonna hate myself. What what is all this platforming doing in my my JRPG? I can has I, no. I I don't want to play a JRPG without platforming, <laughs> intense platforming. <laughs> Unless all of a sudden Final Fantasy VII turns into Mirror's Edge halfway through, I don't care. <laughs> By that tone, you can guess that this is in the past. No, it's in the future. What is the future if not the past of tomorrow? So, is, <laughs> so is this the days of future past? Yeah, I was about to say, they're the days of the future past. No, nah, this is Terminator Genesis. You see, that fairy godmother has been sent back in time to protect us from John Connor. Because he's actually a Terminator himself now. That's the twist. So how does that work? Like, how many times do they just keep sending people back in time? I like to think that they keep sending them back until literally there is no more room in that present time to move. Oh, she's look, like, look at that JPEG in there. She comes over here and she's like, yeah, literally. Your dad's like, don't worry, you know, your dad took out a mad loan. To go fight dragons on top of a volcano? Epic dragons on top of epic volcanoes. Don't so your dad is the Dovahkiin, then? <laughs> That's true, he doesn't ever tell your backstory in the end from Skyrim. So this is the Elder Scroll 6. This is it! <laughs> Elder Scroll 6, Reseteer! <laughs> no, you're just gonna have one guy come into your shop and so like, start selling an Elder Scroll? How much can I get for this? <laughs> As it blinds everybody <laughs> in the store? <laughs> 25%. Another guy walks in, just puts down this bill. You you roll it open, it's just a red hand that says, We know. <laughs> you then go about assassinating your competition one by one. By slashing prices. <laughs> and throats. I live in a place that does with deals for mail. I have literally wanted to do it for the longest time. Hmm. Just get pieces of paper, get my handprint, black handprint, and it says, We know. In the random mailboxes. Then do you also want to don a black cloak and go up to people and start inviting them into the Dark Brotherhood? Kinda just what? just give them a knife and be like, you know what to do. <laughs> just leave it in their mailbox. When the task is complete, we'll talk further. Thinking about those places, those places would be awesome for like selling drugs. The Dark Brotherhood or <laughs> the mail place? The mail place. And Dark Brotherhood. You know, selling that skooma left and right in moon sugar. Man, I remember in Morrowind fighting Cassius Claudius or whatever, and he was a moon sugar addict. You'd go into his <laughs> house, hit him with the sword, he'd do all of his drugs, and he'd suddenly turn into the Flash and start beating you down with his fists of fury. <laughs> You're like, why is this shirtless old man annihilating me, annihilating me while I'm wearing my Daedric armor and I have a sh Daedric like long sword? Guess who's the bad guy in that point? Because you know the guards from the guards be like, "Stop right there, criminal scum!" No, that's all the Shrills four and all the Shrills oh. three. They're like, "Eh, jump on top of a house in uh, Balmora, <laughs> just keep shooting them with a bow and arrow as they're running in the corner." They're like, "We don't understand the Z axis. How can we get him?" Wait a minute. So in World War Z, they're making a ladder full of zombies. So does that mean that each zombie is capable of, like, withstanding, like, so much Dude, more- Dude, zombies of have extreme structural integrity. That's the first rule of being undead. Because, like, th the wall was about, I want to say, like, five, six stories high? It made that wall pretty tall. It was at least that tall. It might have been taller. And, and then, then, like, I all of them- ten stories. And all of yeah. them were crawling up on top of each other. But, like, if you're thinking about- then it means that the zombies at the bottom were just like slowly getting more compact and they're turning into like meat cubes. Well, what you didn't see was that all the fat kids were at the bottom and then everybody else just rolled over them. It's odd that that's the like thing that bothers you the most about that movie and not the <laughs> fact that Brad Pitt like survives a plane crash. He's the only survivor of like thousands of zombies attacking Jerusalem. I think the, he survives two plane crashes. <laughs> Well, you know, there, there's a difference. 
He was smart. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. The problem was, he was white. They didn't want none of the... No, no, no. He was hanging out with people with color, and he saved a person of color by chopping off her arm. Spoiler. That was just a coincidence. He, it was just the hate boiled up in him that he just lobbed off her arm. Remember that game, Eternal Odyssey? Was it Eternal Odyssey? No, Lost Odyssey. Oh, no, Lost Odyssey? Yeah. Yeah. I remember watching the trailers, and there's literally these machines that like will walk up up there, and they drop poles down, and they just do 360 motions, and like it just like kills everything in its way of the 360 motion, right? I can't remember. I mostly just remember the trailer with the 60s song, with the Dormouse and the head, and then Phil and Lil, their voice actress, being... From Rugrats? Yeah, <laughs> d voicing the twins in that game, and about that time I'm like, no, I can't do this anymore, I can't take Phil and Lil as playable characters in this RPG. Now I just got the image of Phil and Lil in an RPG fighting monsters. That's pretty much what it was. They were also twins. I can't remember their names. I I, I refer to them as Phil and Lil. <laughs> All right, going back to my thing, it's like, why don't we employ strategies like that? Just big machines, drop down sticks, that just spin in 360 axes, and just like murk everything within its range. It's gold, I know, right? I mean, that's how the machines wiped out the people in Matrix, right? They just dropped down those things and. They had their squid, their flying squid robots everywhere. But in those machines, those those things taking out humans. That's why the humans never go to the surface. They're too scared to fight those things. Oh, is that what it is? I thought they were just too busy having rave parties in the center of the earth all the time. Because that's all I remember yeah, about the Yeah, because there's no mantle underneath, like you know, that much earth and distance between the surface and subterranean levels. Wait, wait, much. wait! And so a fairy suddenly entered my life. One thing was for sure, this sure wasn't going to be dull.